Hi guys, Thornbury today. So we went to the charity shops and we go to the recycling centre where there's a sort of a shop where they sell off stuff that's too good to go straight in the uh, uh, recycling. Stuff that's still, well, very similar to a charity shop. Um, so we got the bag here. A couple of things in here. A good example of you never know what's going to turn up in a charity shop. And when I looked at this, the executioner. Easy to assemble moving model. It's all made out of card. Uh, Tim on Grand Illusions likes making these things. 99 pence in Oxfam. So I'm going to have to sit down sometime and put that together. Got to be fairly careful on folding it all right, but if you get it all right, turn the handle and it works. Have a quick peek inside, it looks absolutely pristine. Nobody's attempted to start it or anything. That'd be a nice one to do on holiday, actually. I'll think about that. And then the next thing I got in a charity shop. was a power glass. But the clever thing with this one it's iron filings with a magnet at the bottom. Uh, I don't think the camera will pick it up particularly well. Oh, it cost me a pound. <laughs> but I think I might set a camera up just so we can watch that at some time. I'm not sure if that's all cloudy on the inside or whether we can clean it and make it a little bit easier to see. But that would be a nice little peaceful interlude video. Maybe a bit of quiet music with it. And then, that was the charity shops. So I didn't pay for very much in the charity shops. Uh, £1.99 in total. Then we went to the recycling centre. What's this? A birdhouse. You stick it on your window so you can have a camera on the inside. Or even just open the window and look. It looks like it hasn't been used. It looks like somebody took it out of the box and decided not to use it. So we'll take out the plastic bag. Still got the instructions. Yep, yeah, got the suckers to stick it to your window and a little perch. Go in there, and then that glass plate, which I think, yeah, it's, um, what do you call it, frosted or whatever, or dark, so you need to fit that in place there somewhere, so they can't actually see that you're looking in. Mirrored is probably the word I'm looking for, isn't that? So, yeah, so I spotted that. And you can probably see the bottom of the other thing that I spotted. 
another Lightning McQueen. I seem to have collected a few of these. This one's particularly filthy, cracked, broken. Got moving eyes. Oh, so that and the bird box uh, was a pound in total. So I suppose you could call this 50 pence. I just bought this for the fun of it. It looks like it takes two AA batteries. On off. And we've got buttons on top, so I assume it makes sounds. In fact, I could just try putting a couple of batteries in there. I thought it might just be fun as a body shell to put some radio controlled running gear underneath. I'll just see if I've got some batteries. Okay, so nothing much happening there. I suppose I could just unscrew it if I can see that. Yeah, let's see if we can get it open. There is something rattling around inside anyway. Right. Are we going to make a mess of my table? wires there. Quite a few. In fact, most of them are loose. Well, that could be fun, trying to work out where they all go. So all the wires have come off the backs of the switches, or push buttons. That's the bit that's been rattling around. There's a little spider there. Not sure where that bit comes from. Let's 
good sized speaker. Looks like you could actually make those wheels turn. No tries them if you wanted. Not much point, it only goes straight forwards and backwards. Okay, well that'll be a little project just to see if we can do anything with any of it. Yeah. Okay, well we won't do that today. We'll have a look at that some other time. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.